So that land would then become mine, and so I would have ownership of some of the uh, the flock uh, of, of sheep at some point. But uh, that was the way the traditional way uh, was operated, so that the family were, were rewarded when they did something. <laughs> Achahwaden is a word uh, to teach about greed, where you take more than what you have uh, earned or what you're entitled to. The uh, traditional ways that the uh, word for Achahwaden, there are other words, Ishatso, Asahotetego, or which is that you think of yourself only. Those were the things to be avoided. And so the uh, teaching of the uh, sharing and to share with your family was based on the principle of ke, which is your family. Ke. You don't take from your family just and take and take and take. You have to give to your family. And then what it is, what's left over or something, as, an, as a father, you would then use that that you have left after you've given it to your family. And that's your immediate family, which is your wife and children. And, uh, and then down, down to where you would have grandchildren. Those are the things that you would do. It's even now when uh, I remember a time when they took out a, uh, a sheep or a lamb for me and then I would be the sheep herder all the time, but still I was given a a sheep, which would probably be with the herd for a while, and then they would keep an eye on it, and they'd say, okay, that one gave birth to a lamb. So that lamb would then become mine, and so I would have ownership of some of the uh, the flock uh, of, of sheep at some point. But uh, that was the way the traditional way uh, was operated, so that the family were, were rewarded when they did something. But uh, today, things kind of change. And so it is that a uh, chahoyden is something that is not recognized as it should be, as, uh, as it was at one time. A chahoyden is uh, taking more than you're entitled to. And uh, it is that eventually it develops a uh, condition like uh, which is to say that you feel entitled to taking more than what you should have a portion of. And so in the traditional way, all of the families would pool their resources and everybody would do whatever they could, what they were talented at doing, and they would uh, contribute that to the family. And so it was that everyone, if they were good at uh, hunting or if they were good at planting corn or if they were uh, good at... Uh, the various things that would sustain the family, everybody worked at it. And everybody somehow got rewarded and it was just something that was given by generally the, the parents to the children. And so that they felt like they were earning something and that they were a part of the whole uh, operation and the function of the family as to what, they, what came in and what was shared and what, was, uh, what eventually belonged to you and your responsibility. And so those are the things that we are told. Yeah,